Hello, I'm Ms. Deshay, lead creative writing teacher at Colgan, and I would like to talk about the creative writing audition process and answer some questions you may have. This year, our audition will be virtual only. Students will submit a written portfolio to Dropbox. The link will be included in your audition letter. Our audition is composed of three parts, a portfolio, a written reflection, and an impromptu writing exercise. Your student should submit all three parts as one file by 11.59 on January 16th. The portfolio must include a minimum of three genres of writing, which are limited to poetry, fiction, creative nonfiction, and script. Please only include your best writing and limit yourself to one piece per genre. We value quality over quantity. I would like to clarify creative nonfiction. Creative nonfiction includes memoirs, personal essays, editorials, literary journalism, and blog type writing. Academic essays, speeches, reviews, and traditional journalism wouldn't count as creative nonfiction and won't be scored. To touch on fiction, your student may submit either a short story or an excerpt from a longer work, but that excerpt must be understandable to the reader as a standalone piece. The audition packet will also include a written reflection about one of the pieces included in the portfolio. We want to see the student's craft process. Students should write about their creative choices, their writing process, and what was learned through this particular writing experience. The portfolio and reflection should total between eight to 10 pages. Formatting guidelines are found in the creative writing audition packet. I would like to note that prose should be double spaced, but poetry should be single spaced. The final part of the audition process is the impromptu writing exercise. Because we are auditioning virtually this year, students will receive the writing prompt in the email listed on their application at noon on January 15th. They will have until they submit the application packet to complete the prompt. It should be included in the packet after the written reflection so that they are submitting one file in total. There are no limits as to what they can write as long as it relates to the prompt and it's school appropriate. Same goes for the portfolio. They can write in any genre they choose. The only stipulation is they can't receive outside help or do any outside research. We understand and expect these to be rough drafts. The goal is to gauge how well they write independently and in a limited time span. That being said, I can't release the prompt early in order to maintain fairness. You will also need to email your audition forms to Vicki Burns at the email below. If you have any questions about the process or the program, feel free to email me at the email below. I'm here to assist you in any way possible. However, for CFPA questions not specifically about creative writing, please contact our coordinator, Vicki Burns. Also, if you have technology issues which may affect your audition, please reach out to us. If you have questions about the program, you can check out the CFPA handbook on Colgan's website, or if you would like to see Colgan Creative Writing in action, check out our website, colgansiren.com. Thank you, and I look forward to auditioning your student.